number of areas where we have people that are stranded and uh, in camp. We are working with the government to ensure we bring assistance to some of these people by opening up the roads and I know the government is doing a lot of work to try and open the road, particularly in the Rift Valley and in Nyanza and in Western. And uh, yeah, we just pray that uh, peace would prevail so that we can provide assistance to those that who need assistance. This appeal is being launched by the National Society. It is again for one month and it is an, an amount of 957 million Kenyan shillings, 127,906 is the amount of money that we are asking for or seeking from the Kenyan public and from the international community for assistance to the population that have been affected. As I talk to you, we have been in the slums, we are in Kibera, we are in, uh, in Huruma and Kariobangi, uh, Dandora, where we are distributing food. The generosity of the Kenyan public has been overwhelming. They are bringing us food here on a daily basis. And from uh, two days ago, we did not work yesterday. Yesterday we were basically evacuating wounded people and dead bodies, recovering from the different parts of Nairobi. But in terms of the pipeline of food, which we started uh, three days ago, we have re-established that pipeline today. As I talked to you, we are in Kibera. As I talked to you, we are on the other side in Eastland. And we will be doing this now on a daily basis. Every day we will be distributing. The what we receive from the public is what we will be giving out to the Nairobi area. As